Football has changed a lot down the years, none more so than the footballers themselves. And this summer, there's a whole new wave of Pampa Prima Donnas vying for your attention on and off the pitch. Go! Oh, sorry. Sorry. Talk to your dad about footballers these days and he'll probably say, uh, modern day footballers, bunch of softies, pay too much, go down too easy, disgrace. Well, you know what, dad? You're probably right, but this is the world we live in now, so you have to deal with it, okay? When the World Cup was formed in 1930, most of the players were salt-of-the-earth lads who probably had second jobs as bin men and butchers. Now even the most mediocre players are multi-millionaires and probably employ their own bin men and butchers. Different world, mate! You're telling me, Gav! The average weekly wage for a Premier League footballer is 50 grand a week. Back in 1930, it was just a tenner. No way Pogba could afford all his hair dye with that. But how do you become a modern day footballer? By following these simple steps. Get yourself a crazy haircut. No one's gonna notice you with that boring short back and side. Get the noodles out, Neymar it up, lovely stuff. Just express yourself, do you know what I mean? Two. Get yourself some fancy boots. No self-respecting footballer wears black boots these days. There is one problem though, you will get kicked more. Three, spend your entire spare time playing video games online. Like Tottenham players, they spend an average of 23 hours a day playing Fortnite. Oh, take that, Delhi. Finally, you need to get yourself a social media account and tweet after every game. But if you're super famous, just get a team of people to do it for you. Oh, no, he didn't. You'll see all sorts of modern day footballers at this year's World Cup with the craziest haircuts and the brightest boots. Some of them might even win a few games of football. Go! Oh, sorry. So sorry again. Oh, that's embarrassing. Just move next time. It's a football pitch.